This video is to show the complete rebuild technique of Gearbox ZF16S221. Change input shaft oil seal and the splitter piston cylinder O-ring. Install oil spray pipe. Set up the input bearing housing with the spacer ring to align the gasket. And set up the counter gear bearing housing with the spacer ring to align the gasket. Install first the oil pump before installing the input shaft connecting plate. Now install input shaft connecting plate. Install clutch fork. Install oil strainer. Clean the oil holes of the input shaft before installing the splitter gear. Clean the oil holes to make sure that the oil will flow to lubricate the bearings. Install synchronizing cone. Install engaging ring. Install input shaft bearing and the retaining ring. Install splitter engaging sleeve. Next is the strut detent.
Install synchronizing cone in the engaging ring. Clean the main shaft oil holes. Install needle cage bearing for gear number 3. Now install gear number 3. Next is the engaging ring and synchronizing cone for gear number 3. Guide sleeve for gear number 3 and gear number 4. And the engaging sleeve for gear number 3 and gear number 4. Now install the strut detent. Install synchronizing cone for gear number 4. Don't forget to install the thrust washer before installing the bearing race. Install engaging ring for gear number 4. Now install gear number 4 with the bearing. Next is the thrust washer and the axial bearing washer. And now the bearing. Install the split lock ring. Change the position of the main shaft. Install needle cage bearing for gear number 2. Next is the gear number 2. And now install engaging ring for gear number 2. Followed by synchronizing comb. Install engaging sleeve for gear number 2 and gear number 1. Install the engaging ring for gear number 1 and gear number 2. Next is to install the strut detent. Install the synchronizing cone and the engaging ring for gear number 1. Next is the bearing race and the needle cage bearing for gear number 1.
Now install the gear number 1. Install reverse gear hub. Install bearing race in the needle cage bearing for reverse gear. Now install reverse gear. Install output shaft rear bearing and the shaft retaining ring. Install input shaft compression ring. Set up the shift fork and sliding pad to the splitter engaging ring. Set up the input shaft and the counter gears into the bell housing. Set up the main gears, slightly lift, and sway the counter gear. Now set up the shift fork into the gear shift rail for reverse gear. Install the C-lock pin. Check the position of the shift rail. Next is to install gearbox housing. Clean the air holes for the splitter cylinder. Install the locking pin with the compression spring. Set up the housing guide pin. Push the locking pin to insert the shift rails.
Install first the outer housing bolt. Slightly tight the outer housing bolt and change the position of the gearbox. Now insert all the guide pin. Make sure all bolts will be tight. Install the reverse idler gear. Install pressure disc. Install splitter shift piston shaft seal. Install splitter shift piston and the piston cylinder. Don't forget to install the oil pipe or ring. Install idler gear housing cover. Next is to install high and low gear. Check the alignment of the intermediate plate. Make sure to type first the bolt on the lower side of the pump. Now, insert all the guide pins. Install and tighten all the bolts. Install mechanical plunger switch for high and low gear. Install speed sensor. Close the locking pin inserting hole. Install the deepened plunger for the high and low gear shift piston shaft. Install mechanical plunger switch for the splitter gear shift piston shaft. Install the deepened plunger for the splitter shift piston shaft. Now install gear shift mechanism. When shifting the gear, make sure that the gear is shifted into high gear or low gear position because when the high and low shift piston shaft is in a neutral position, the locking pin will move to lock the two shifting shafts. Then the reverse gear is the only gear that can shift. In this case, you can easily determine what will be the incoming trouble of your gearbox.
if the high and low gear is not shifting to low gear. Then you have a high speed when shifting on reverse gear. Hope this video will help. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.